Now that you've finished writing your first draft of the literary analysis essay, we're going to do some peer editing by getting some feedback from our classmates to make sure that we have everything that we need before we publish our final draft. So the process for peer editing is that you're going to make a copy of your first draft. So I'm going to go to the assignment for the first draft and you might have already submitted it and so you might need to unsubmit the first draft in order to make a copy of it. Once you unsubmit it and you've made your copy, you can resubmit it without losing any points for being late. So after I go here and I make a copy, I'm going to share that copy with the partner that I've been working with throughout the entire quarter. If you have a question as to who that is, feel free to reach out and ask who you've been assigned to work with. You're going to share your copy of the first draft with that partner by putting their email in your essay. And then once they've received the copy, so pretending that I am the partner that has received a classmate's essay, I'm going to go to suggesting and I'm going to directly write on their essay and tell them, for example, this title needs to um, be more relevant to the topic. So you can see the comments on the side and you um, can do any changes and edits directly to this document that you think are necessary. How do you know which changes they need to make? When you go to the peer editing, you can see in the publishing checklist that this gives you an idea of everything your essay needs to have. In MLA format, it needs a running header, it needs all of the information, and so where can you find that? When we go to the copy, here's our running header with our last name and our page number. This is our header with um, your name, and then the name of the course, and the date. And then on this checklist, we see that um, this it's double-spaced, that the font's Times New Roman, that the title, title is centered, that our margins are one inch. And so the format that I gave you as the template has all of those qualities, but make sure that nothing's been changed as they've been writing their first draft. Go through this checklist, make sure that they have all of the information that they need. And once you have concluded the checklist, you are going to give them a final grade, just like I would. So this is the rubric that I will be using. It's holistic because it's looking at the overall composition. It's not nitpicking each and every detail, but it's making sure that it has these qualities. So if you see that their essay has these qualities, then you're going to give them a grade within this range. You can give them partial credit, you can give them full credit, it's up to you as the grader. And so you're just going to highlight the column that you think indicates their grade. Um, I'm going to do it with this one. Okay, oh, that's the line. Let's do it with this one. So I'm going to highlight the box with, with the grade that I see that they have. I can choose to put here um, their grade, and so that's going to be their final score. What you're going to submit in the assignment for peer editing is your first draft, not the one that you edited, but the one that you had edited by a partner. So your first draft, make sure that it includes the comments from the first draft. So that means that before you publish your final draft, do not publish this copy. Make another copy of this essay. And that's going to be your final draft. Okay, make sure you name them. So this one's going to be our um, edited draft. And this one's going to be, for example, our first draft. So you make sure that you make a copy of the um, for edited draft so that when you submit it, it contains all of these comments. Once you've made a copy of that, you can then, as your final draft, you can then go and accept those comments and it'll make those changes. Or you can choose not to as an author and you say, I like it the way it is. I don't think it needs to be changed. That's totally up to you. But make sure that you are submitting the version of your essay that has comments from your classmate along with the checklist that you made a copy of and you again shared with your classmate with their grade on it. If you have any questions as you're working, feel free to reach out and ask 
and um, I am here to help you.